Donald Trump today advising his supporters not to tune in to Hillary Clinton's primetime address tonight. The fundraising email states, quote, quote, unless you want to be lied to, belittled, and attacked for your beliefs, don't watch Hillary's DNC speech tonight. Instead, help Donald Trump hold her accountable. Call out her lies. Fight back against her nasty attacks. Well, joining me now, Trump campaign national co-chair, chief policy advisor, Sam Clovis. Sam, that's pretty direct. You, you kind of take a shot there and then uh, pass the uh, collection plate. I like it. Is it effective? Well, I, I, I think it'll be extremely effective, but I, I, I'm not going to tell Mr. Trump that I have to watch the speech tonight because I'm going to be required to comment <laughs> on it tomorrow. So I don't want him to know that I'm watching the speech tonight. So whatever you do, Lou, don't tell okay. him. So. <laughs> I, I promise we're going to keep it. Well, you know, I'm, 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 I'm fibbing. We're going to tell everybody as loud as we can that you're here. Good to have you with us. This, uh, this seems to be going your way. Uh, Donald Trump has been very successful in seizing the news cycle each right. of the three previous days. Uh, tonight is a tough ask because they have their nominees stepping up to that stage. The first right. woman to win a major party's nomination. Right. Uh, this is going to be a room filled with energy, excitement about the prospects for winning in November, and Donald Trump is uh, is out there. I swear to you, Sam, he's working harder than ever before during this. He's got a he has got an itinerary that's uh, breathtaking. Uh, he seems to be boundless in his energy. What what, what? do you make of uh, where we go from here after tonight? Well, I think if you take a look at the travel schedules that have been published, we've, we're, we're looking at both uh, uh, Mr. Trump and, the, and Governor Pence are going to be out on the trail a great deal, and they're going to a lot of the battleground states and states we need to win, and, and I think this is going to be the concentration of our effort. I think one of the things I just want to comment about tonight, I think that it is historic, sure. and I think we need to give, give due for the, the, his, the history that's going to be made tonight and the history was made Tuesday night when, when uh, Mrs. Clinton was, was nominated by the Democrat Party. I think the thing that has been missing this entire week is any sense of substance about what it is that's going to happen or how we're going to go forward. And we have not yet heard a vision for America. And we have heard, all, we know what the Trump campaign is about. It's about making America great again. And I couldn't help but hear the, your, your guests on before, and I, I, was, I was commenting that if I had had the opportunity to climb down the fiber optic cable, uh, Mr. Wolf and I might have had some words, but the, uh, I, I do think that one of the big challenges <laughs> well, he here was, tonight... he was here to generate a little excitement, Sam. <laughs> well, well, he did in me, that's for sure, Lou. He got, got me excited. Uh, I, I couldn't believe what I was hearing, but the, uh, the issues, I do think it really comes down to substance and, and vision and energy, and is, is she trustworthy, and is she a leader? And I think those are the things the American people are looking for. And I, and I really, we've said that we've had this conversation before. I think that, that many people inside the Beltway, inside New York, in that convention hall, still have not figured out what's going on in this country and the movement that is, that is pushing and, 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 and supporting the Donald Trump campaign. Yeah, I, I think you're right in that, if I may say. And I also uh, have pointed out on this broadcast this evening and a few previous evenings uh, here at the DNC, uh, there has been a paper-thin uh, reference to cause and effect and the, and the right. consequence of policy choices over the past uh, two terms of this president uh, that uh, I think will be corrected, if I'm uh, safe in saying this, over the course of the, uh, the weeks and months ahead as we move toward November 8th. Uh, Sam Clovis, it's great to have you with us. We appreciate Always it. Always, Lou. Thanks so much. No, you bet, Dr. Lou. It's Sam great to Clovis. be on with you. You bet.